доживеот во седмајство страни модерна туди. It's nice to see you here. So I would like to explain why we started to collaborate with Friuli Venezia Giulia Tourism. The question was not how to start to collaborate. It was more it's. Uh, for us, it's not thinkable not to co collaborate with uh, them because our partners, our uh, economy, of course, collaborates for years with Venezia Giulia. People that come to visit Caporetto goes to visit also the Puglia and not just for the tourism of the uh, first world tour. So it was, it was something very, very logical. And uh, 100 years of the First World War wa was just a great excuse for us to, to do something uh, more. So we decided to do something uh, more. We started to talk about it something like one year, one year and a half uh, ago. And a couple of months uh, ago, we had this first workshop where we found uh, our partners from economy, from one and from the other side of the border, and we just simply put them uh, to together. Uh, then we found the travel agencies, or travel agencies found us and the, the partners, and they made this simple product for the uh, beginning. The, here are the programs, and uh, uh, that were uh, printed by our organization and yesterday we presented at PTG Rimini, uh, maybe the biggest fair of, the biggest fair now in uh, Italy. So yesterday we started uh, this second uh, phase, uh, let's say selling this uh, product. Uh, it's, it's very easy, the, the, the idea is, is very simple. So we put uh, to the travel agencies and to our uh, partners some three very, very, very basic uh, rules. One, one of the questions uh, when we decided to do this, uh, this, uh, this program, to do this project was, do you really want to, to propose First World Tour? And we said, yes, we want to propose that because uh, there will be a lot of talking about First World Tour uh, in, uh, in the next Two years next year, uh, when it's 100 years that uh, Gorizia and Trieste entered in First World War, and uh, 15 that is the beginning of the First World War for the rest of uh, Italy, and then until uh, 17 uh, the Battle of Cobarit, Caporetto, and uh, then 18 uh, the end of uh, 100 years of the end of First World War. So we said yes, let, let's do that, but not. We, we decided not to do that project just for people that want to, to, to visit the museum, that are interested just uh, in uh, war stuff, but let's do it for everybody. Also for people that would just like to see the places where 100 years ago uh, happened these battles, and today they want to do other things, like uh, they want to go to eat, they want to go to taste uh, wines, and they want to go to cycle and things like um, like that. So, for the agencies, we did uh, we proposed them three basic rules, and this was that uh, their pro pro uh, programs must be at least in some part based on the First World War. As I said, so they, it can be based for professional or for for people that are not so interested, but they want to hear stories about Hemingway and Rome and people that participated there here uh, 100 years ago. The other rule really was, and uh, this was quite important, that it happens here. The program must be based here, in the Socha and Zonza uh, Valley uh, and on, in the Karst region. And the third, and I think the most uh, important rule that we, uh, uh, we gave to travel agencies from Slovenia and from Italy was that people should stay in Slovenia and in Italy. Not or Slovenia or Italy, but they, they, they have to sleep one night in Slovenia and one night in Italy, or more nights, uh, as uh, it depends how long the program is. And this is, I, I guess, the most important uh, thing, thing, because 100 years uh, of First World War will pass. But these relations that will be uh, connected uh, now, because now travel agencies 
uh, are pulling across the border and they find new partners, this will stay for a longer uh, period. And of course, we, we are a public uh, service uh, and the uh, economy does not like that we propose them what they should do and they uh, shouldn't do. So we have to give them uh, something. And what we give them for this, uh, I'm talking about uh, I feel Slovenia, Spirit Slovenia and Julia Venezia, Julia Tourism, is that everybody that respects these basic rules, and there are plenty of uh, them till now, uh, will have a free promotion in Italy, affairs in Italy, in Europe and all over the uh, world. We'll translate uh, these brochures and we'll take them on our affairs when we participate or we will Venezia. Julia participate all over uh, the world, uh, the world. And uh, the other thing is, of course, that we we put this. Uh, we already did, and uh, since this is a work in progress, uh, we will uh, do some more on the internet. Uh, the the most exciting or interesting thing in this project is that here is not a lot of uh, money that is. Uh, that, that we need. It's more the idea uh, is, uh, that, that matters. Uh, and it's still, and it will be for next two, three years, work in uh, progress. So we are listening to our economy, and they have some good, good uh, ideas. And if it's possible, uh, we, we try to let it uh, leave. We, we try to give them condition, conditions to propose, uh, to let know, and to sell these uh, this, uh, programs. Um, so, not to be too uh, long, uh, for us it's, it was and it is important to collaborate with Friuli Venezia Giulia, uh, maybe even more than in Italy or in Europe, on the uh, uh, overseas uh, countries, destinations, because it's very nice to be their partners. They are Friuli, Venezia, Giulia, and many people come because uh, they think Venice is in uh, their, uh, in their uh, region. And I think this will, uh, will uh, stay for the future. We think, when we are sure, we should not be competitors with them, but we should compete uh, towards third uh, nations, towards third uh, destinations in this matter.